Fried Little Debbie Christmas. Are we ro- Sorry, I was yeah. doing email. Yeah, we're rolling. Ro- ro- oh, my bad. Welcome back. You're here in the Duck Call Room. Look, it is, uh, boy, we almost at the end of the second split here. And first split. First split, first. whatever. See, look, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Right. You get tired. You get worn down. So, you know, if our energy ain't what it normally is, just we'll be we'll be back. We'll get a couple of weeks off. We'll be back. <laughs> but, man. Everybody's getting tired around us. And it's really tired. Are you tired? Yeah. It's how many days in a row you been hunting? Every All day. of them. Third, what, day. what day is Every it? Day. I don't know. I don't know. We only I, don't get... even, I don't even know how many days we've been hunting. Ten? Yeah, about ten. So no, ten days in a row you've been waking up at what time? Four o'clock. Four o'clock? Four o'clock. Mm. That's yep. early. I get up three thirty. Oh. It's easier to handle when you're killing something. <laughs> Are y'all not killing the day, anything? No. Today was no. the pits. No, she has died on the vine, boys. We had one, one, two ducks killed, and PR killed both of them. We had one little pocket of, of ducks, and, and we uh, blew them. And Jay blew said, them "Let's don't let's don't run them off, because then we won't be killing nothing." And Bill what, said, what "Why we are do? we here? We need to go kill them." <laughs> so guess what? We go in the little pocket of ducks. We we, we killed. We run them off. A few. And you look up this morning, and there ain't a duck in the it's sky. A go- it's a ghost town, boys. And they're wondering, where did they go? <laughs> we ain't got no ducks here. No, no there ain't no ducks. There ain't no ducks here, boys. But here. I will say this. I have been thoroughly entertained in the duck blind, <laughs> even though there's not many ducks. <laughs> this morning was old men's day. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was talking about anybody over 70, get out of the blind. Get out of the boat, get in the blind. So I, I pulled the boat up. And I said, if you're over the age of 70, it's time to disembark. That's right. I said, in other words, hey, all you old farts, get out of the boat, get in the blind, and get out of my way. Well, that's, that's everybody it. you take, eh? That's it. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, well, well, okay. Well, now we got uh, you want it. we got Phil inside, and of course, you know, I've been, I was raised to respect my elders, so that's what I'm doing. That's good. Taking care of them, but now we have uh, we've got uh, Burley. Well, Burley is actually helpful. <laughs> you know, for a change, he is helpful, and then we <laughs> have is, you know Phil's now. got a, got a daughter now. Right. And uh, she she hunts sometimes. I don't know if I call it hunting, but she's there to spend time with her dad. I get it. Right. But he gets it. Uh, so it's pretty much a, a kind of a babysitting gig. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I will say this for him, for Stone. He's good with old old people and, and children. And I, children. Yeah, I enjoy right. it. Look, right. I, and don't, don't get me wrong. I don't take any of it for granted. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love hunting with Phil and I every morning. And when my kid gets to go, I love that. Now, the rest of them, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them are suspect, boys. <laughs> no, it's pretty. It's all. Awesome. Stone said, make yourself useful or get out of here. That's it. That happened to me you one know, time. We Either A, turn. be entertaining, yep. or, well, or B, be a good shot. Well, hey, here's, Other than that, get here, out. Here's the good so thing. We got a name. For, if you're neither one of those, you are what we call dead, dead weight. Dead weight. Well, there's a lot so. of names for them. Top water, greenhorn. Yeah, <laughs> pen raised. high facers. I mean, you got uh, there's a bunch of them. Like pen raised. That's another good yeah, one. Yeah, pen raised. Overall, it can be described collectively though as a gar. I only as get to go. Gar. I only get to go for one reason. Yeah. Okay, I'm the morale builder. I guarantee you, you okay. are. I keep them laughing. Uh, when you go on to be with the Almighty, <laughs> I I'm quitting the game. Okay, unless my little girl wants to go. Heck, I think girl. I'm gonna go with him. Yeah. Golly. Well. I just know for the last couple of years I've hunted, I'm very more appreciative of what the people that brush the blinds and put out the decoys and pick up the ducks and clean them and mm-hmm. all that. I'm more appreciative because I used to just just do it and not even think about it. Because yeah. I was sitting there this morning looking and talking about, good grief. <laughs> it especially hits me when I look at what, what they carry into the blind and then carry out of the blind. <clears throat> oh, we got we got 2,000 pounds of grit. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. Why do you think okay. I quit coming down there? And look, I've been there. <laughs> no, no, used to. I would help. You know, they would say, get, get in the blind, and they would hand me all this garbage. Oh, yeah, you'd sit at the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I were, you know, at 73, the... I just told them finally, I said, boys, hey, guess what? I'm gonna get in the blind, but hey, I ain't, y'all ain't handing me doodly squat. 
<laughs> I can't do it anymore. Well, everything weighs 75 pounds. Oh, no. And look, uh, we've moved like three to five times in one day and moved every bit of that crap five different times. Oh, I'm aware. That, that's insanity. Yeah. 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 Oh, you, no, no. That's you're the chasing, got to the stupidity <laughs> level. You're okay. chasing ghosts is what you're doing because <laughs> yeah. they ain't even well, there. Well, no, no, because even when we got a few there that's around, it's the same ducks we're hunting every day. Yeah. Well, it's like you're talking about. Hey, they know your social security number, phone number, your address where you live. Yeah. You I don't even know your children's name. I yeah. saw one old Mallard Drake this morning. He looked down, and it's like he was saying, oh, you're back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, I see yeah, y'all. And up there, up there, it looks like you need binoculars. About, yeah. yeah. So, but but the entertainment level in the duck blind has has gone. Up. Oh, it was fine this morning. I, I had to give the, it up. The shotgunning has yeah. gone way down. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, but the look, entertainment and has gone way. And up. we're still killing them though. Every, yeah, we're yeah. Uh, we're still scratching them out because we're over what today we hit what two oh one I think two oh one for the uh, first split. Yeah. And f- down two hundred one ducks. Two hundred one ducks. I, that's why I tell Phil. He's always saying. It ain't a great hoe. It's a good hoe. Yeah. And I said, well, no, it's it's the past a good hoe. It's a real good hoe. I said, because you've killed 201 ducks in the first split, and what have we hunted? Yeah. 12 days, something? How many of them's woodies? Huh? A bunch. (laughs) (laughs) But, hey, look, since Stone has done going into uh, the old fingerlings, the woody fingerlings. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> oh no, yeah, he's got about a three day process here. He got yeah. on, and the end process is take it out of the grease and eat it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, them things are fine, oh, as, fine. as yearling deer steak. They're oh, fine. He told me he mixed in some shovelers on y'all the other day. You never know. Oh, well, no, no, never hey, I wasn't word. there, but that boy, <laughs> hey, look, hey, the bunch of y'all when they sit down at the table, no, they pray. What are you talking about? They fix to eat everything there. <laughs> yeah, I did eat three of the three those three pintails that. Uh, we they solid. They had, Pintail solid. And it tasted like venison. Yeah. The way I do it. So we're, we're going to have a recipe on our YouTube channel. Oh, later no. It's, on. Yeah. It's really good. But it I really figured is. out how to, how to cook, how to fry those duck strips where they do not taste like duck. And let's be honest here. Now, some people like to taste duck. It's gamey. <laughs> it's like chicken liver. <laughs> if you like chicken liver, I think so, yeah. you it, like it's duck. Got a little, it's got a little. But we trip. figured out how to get that duck flavor out of a duck. And make it taste like beef almost. Well done duck is no very, beef. very livery. Yeah. No very, a lot of blood to me. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you got to have an acquired taste for such as well, that. Well, he puts yeah. it to a process. Oh, it's just, a process. Yeah. yeah it's a three-day I mean, process, and I, I'm serious. Yeah. When you eat it, you would you would sit down. If you didn't know what you were eating, you'd think you had it. Well, that's way, beef, that's way quicker. Venison. Way quicker than duck wraps. Right. That's for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's the problem with the wraps. They're the best. They just take forever. Take forever. They're labor oh, intensive. Of, no, no. Yeah, it's a lot of preparation yeah. involved mm-hmm. in it. For them all to disappear in about seven minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, if it's, <laughs> if it's green wing teal, they go quicker than that. Yeah. Because they we had stone grilled a bunch of them. You know, and I'm talking about it was less than three minutes. Gone. Okay. And tell me, hey, where's the, where's the rest of the wraps? I go. And stone said, you pigs, you already ate 60. <laughs> yeah. How many uh, you want? Yeah, what else yeah. you need? Oh, it'd yeah. take a half a day to, yeah. to do oh, yeah. 30 wraps. It does do that. But, hey, they whatever. Good. It's duck season. Life is good. I'll Time is good. Yep. It don't matter how bad it stinks right now. But, hey, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. Right after this message. That's what I'm talking about. What's on your Christmas list, Johnny D? Well, there's a new Abu Garcia I was looking at. Oh, here but we But you go. know what I need? <laughs> Socks and underwear, because you're a guy. Every single time. Especially underwear. I, I, You know what? The other day, I went commando with blue jeans just because I had no other choice. Mm. I bet that hurt. They were all dirty because I don't, you know, I need more underwear all in right, my well, life. Look, if you're stuck on what to give your friends and family this year, wish them a merry softness and a happy new rear with the new comfy underwear, <laughs> loungewear, and pajamas from Tommy John. Pun intended, Happy baby. new rear, uh, sir. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> when your loved ones start their day by wearing Tommy John, they're that much more comfortable so they can do everything better. Tommy John's loungewear luxurious soft tri-blend and micro-modal fabrics mean four-way stretch and no limp balls or fuzz. Praise the Lord. With over 17 million pairs sold, giving the gift of Tommy John underwear and loungewear has become a holiday tradition for families all across the country. I love loungewear, too. 97% of women and men love getting a gift from Tommy John. And you know what the other 3% do? 
They cry. Stink. They cry. What? Who doesn't like comfortable underwear? I agree. You that, weirdos. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. One of our listeners, Bill from Missouri, loves his Tommy John so much, he sent us an email to say, thank you for recommending the Tommy John underwear. They are the most comfortable underwear I have ever owned. Look, we all wear our Tommy John, especially during duck season, because you're sitting in a duck blind. you got to be comfortable I think you should do it, too. Returns and exchanges are free, and it's all backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free, guaranteed. Get 20% off your first order right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. That's TommyJohn.com slash duck for 20% off. Order now so your gifts arrive before the holidays. TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for details. As I was saying, the shotgunning level... Now, Duck Commander videos, if you watch them over the years, you would think, boy, those guys don't ever miss. Well. They kill everything they shoot at. Uh, one of our cameraman's dad. No, I think no, he's dad. That was Godwin's dad. Uh-uh. No, I think he's dad. We got 15 till left to right. Come in. They come in the decoys, and it was just boom, 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 boom. And they all died. I think his dad says, Boy, that's pretty good camera work. Yeah. He said, that looked like y'all killed them all. And think he said, Dad, they did kill them all. When's the last time that happened? About about two, I'm about confused. About two years ago. Because you were just talking about we how you missed. We had 24 on Dog Bow come in and, hey, the first volley, I think it was seven of us in the blind. No, so that's, no it was five of us in no, the blind. Five? And, I thought it was seven. And Godwin was standing outside the blind with the dog. Okay. No, there was five of us. He didn't even shoot. And Godwin didn't even shoot? No. On the initial well, I did some volley. Damage that day then. <laughs> <laughs> on the initial volley, 17 died. Yeah. First volley, 17 just. And then it was bump, 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 bump. It was seven, what, seven more? Yeah. Yeah. They all I've, died. I've yeah. seen us do some things over the years, but those moments are becoming. And much uh, there are and, few and far between. And that nowadays. gets to my, <laughs> my point being, being at. I, I told Jason the day, I said, look, you got to get off this. We should have killed this. Those got away. They're going to get away now. Yeah. It's, they're going to yeah. get away. Yeah. Age has done yeah. kept in. <laughs> and everybody's not the high thing as good as it used to be. And they ain't quick so as let's just be. send the duck blind. Thank God <laughs> Almighty. For his creation and us being able to sit there and, and enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. And let's have fun. Let's don't worry about what got away yeah. and who missed yeah. what and yeah. who killed what. It don't matter. Oh, that's part of me. That's part of it. Yeah. Because I, li- I like them riding me. Tell me you didn't kill nothing on that one. If anything <laughs> get, dies over 50 yards, I'm out. You're out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> and little do they know, I'm good up to about 125. <laughs> <laughs> With that little pop gun, they always talk about that little 20 gauge, okay? <laughs> and I'm stretching it at 125, but I still do roll them out of there occasionally. Though. I'm going to tell you right now, I tried one up there this morning about 80, and I didn't do no good with it. No, so. he just brushed it off. Hey, you, hey, you didn't oh, I didn't. Him. I don't even know that I scared him. Hey, said, you, didn't, well, you didn't lead him right there. He was going right. downwind. I said, you know what? That rascal ain't getting no closer. Let me try him. Yeah. Nope. I shot one time, sat back down. I said, well, that's all of it. It was old snow goose, but anyway. Oh, we no saw a, anyway. a single speckle belly this morning. He yeah. was lost. He was lost. The lost goose. Didn't know where he was. <laughs> he was lost as a Every goose. Every once in a while, they mess up and get in decoys. So, so this year, there's been a theme. You know, we've, we're he- heavy on the woodies so far. They're lightening the decoys, which is what we need to kill them these days. So they lighten in the decoys, and so everybody pick out a woody, and Jace counts down. We've been doing it for 40 years. 40 years. One, two, three, boom. Everybody shoots the same time. Okay. Three. Well, <laughs> opening morning, a bunch of woodies come in there light, and Jace goes, one, and it was boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and he looked down there, and he said, well, I guess we shooting on one. Well, guess what? The next day, woodies come in light, Jace goes, all right, everybody get on one. On the count of three. One, boom, bow, boom, bow, <laughs> boom. So, now, yeah. what that is, is okay, <laughs> if you've never hunted with the Robertsons, you know, if you don't shoot, you're going to be late for the party. Well, okay, because well, they'll no, kill everything. They're well, bad I, about no, killing the pro- everything the, in the decoy. No, the problem is you old farts have done quit being team players. 
No, I right. think, and I, I don't even think you can hear the count. No, so right, in your mind, right. you're counting yourself. That's well, what it I'll is. Just fix that. They, okay, they right. can't hear. Yeah. You got to have somebody in the middle do the <laughs> right count. Right side blind. <laughs> so I'm telling Burley, pass it down. Every time Jay says something, I repeat it to Burley. <laughs> Burley repeats it to Cy. And then it, I don't it think it, I don't think it goes it's, past it's right that telephone so. game. It, it didn't even work in kindergarten, so I don't think. It, <laughs> no. you know. So Phil never hears it. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. It, Bow. Well, but, I mean, hey, look, you got a twenty-foot shooting porch, okay? So, <laughs> you know, you're not gonna yell, "Hey, there's the decoys." <laughs> you know, we're gonna have to reach. I got out. on earplugs, uh, you know, I got on earplugs, so no. Hey. We're going to have to reach out to AARP to see if they want to sponsor us now. That's but, where we're getting down But to. your earplugs are also hearing aids, so I don't know. Well, I, I, I just look. think, you know, Phil, uh, he lost his hearing a while back with all the shotgunning, and uh, he got these high-dollar hearing aids years ago. I love that first time. <laughs> that first time we went hunting and he had them things. I've never been so tickled in all my life. He was sitting there. I was sitting right beside him. And I mean, shoulder to shoulder with Phil, and he – He's looking at me, he said, boy, I'm hearing things you can only imagine now. <laughs> and this whole time, them hearing aids are going, <laughs> And he's just sitting there telling me how much he can hear. He's like, you hear that train? It sounds like it's about to come through this duck blind. There's a train track right across the river down there. Yeah. And I'm like, I finally, I let that go for about an hour. And I said, Phil, can you not hear the high-pitched hum coming out of them <laughs> hearing aids? And he said, no. And he said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I mean, they're sitting in his ears just like a gnat on steroids. Just <laughs> no, I remember that. And he was like, no. I said, Phil, turn the volume down on him a little bit. I think you got him peaking. And he said, huh. He got it because he, he had it on a little remote control around his neck. He started turning it down. I said, see, now that humming's gone. Then he said, do what? He so he had to have them at a level where they had to hum yeah. for him to hear. Do what? But he couldn't hear the hum. Yeah. Oh, it's called high frequency loss. But it was just so funny. Because I've got it. Oh, I know. But it was just so funny to hear a man bragging on his hearing aids, and they're making more racket than it. And he's telling me how he can hear better than me now. Yeah. But I'm like, but, 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 but you can't hear that. Like, I just <laughs> – <laughs> but no. I get it. I mean, between the shotguns and all them years turning wood loud in that shop and everything oh, yeah. that he's done across his life, and, and got music wide open. And we're not gonna music. we're not gonna count the days BC. So you know, well, we ain't right. gonna talk some about some loud that. country <laughs> western <laughs> music yeah, as he what calls it. That's Sounds what he calls it. Every boys. time I've been around, he goes, you know, you sit there, put on a little country western music, <laughs> and you just sit no, in your truck rock, and wait. He's rocking. He's, he's rocking waiting for a deer. Yeah. Oh, it oh, is. He's, he's, I will say this. I, he still shows flashes with that shotgun. Oh, ain't hand. no doubt. Ain't no doubt. And he, not only him, that man sitting right there still shows flashes from time to time. He'll get on a roll. My kin folks will not acknowledge that. I, I will. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it no, down one in Venice. Jason Robertson? No. Okay. Uh, oh, I told him. I said, Sai, well, you know, he killed. He's six for six on till that morning. He said, I don't believe it. <laughs> and he will, he never will. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, why don't y'all take Jason Phil with you to Venice? Because we like Are to you have kidding? fun. <laughs> No, <laughs> we like to go have fun and laugh and have a good time. Yeah, you know, and we do. Okay? Yeah, we sure do. Don't like Last to be thing told, we're going to do is bring him with us. You okay? don't like to be told every three minutes, sit down, yeah. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Quit all that talking. Look, that's, the fun, no, no, listen, that's the funniest thing out of this whole thing. We've been hunting ducks now, what, probably 70 years. Yeah. Okay, because we, we went when since we she was kids. four. When we was kids, I'm serious. You know? And look, my, my dad... Okay, he had fell off an oil rig and broke his back, so he can't sit no length of time. So he always stood up in the duck blind, but he always wore a baseball cap. Okay, and he never, he would never, his eyes would never get above this. Okay, and he'd be telling whoever was the duck calling man, hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. He was a watcher. He was a watcher. He okay. was a lookout. And for, for the life of me, <clears throat> Phil did. Phil or Jace, either one didn't learn that. Someone has got to watch the ducks, <laughs> or you're not going to kill Dooley Squat. Because yeah. hey, then for you, someone says, "Good grief, five just let the decoy, then just left." Yeah. <laughs> well, nobody's watching. Ain't nobody watching. 
Yeah. You gotta have somebody a got to watch for the ducks. And you volunteer for that. Yeah. Hey, you're the watcher. You know, and look, I do the same thing <laughs> Daddy always done. I stand there. I do not move. The only thing move is my head a little bit when they're flying to the left or the right. But I don't rubbernecking is what we call it. Yeah, pie okay. facing. Yeah, pie facing. Because <laughs> yeah. hey, we was at the uh, blind one day and wasn't nobody face paint. No. Well, we had a camera outside the blind. He, you know, they were somebody get some cutaways, so they done it. And when they did it, oh, you tell like it looked like somebody, everybody had a white paper plate and was doing this. <laughs> Not uh, in the middle of the duck blind. Yeah, no, I'm talking from one end to the other. <laughs> okay. Maybe on one of them hey, ends down look, there, but here's not the in other, the middle. Other uh, funny part, okay? <laughs> they're always saying, hey, you flared them ducks. And it was me. All of this, all of this is all pointing to me. You flatten them ducks, you moved. You know? Well, if you go look at our duck blinds, you got Phil Robertson on the left side and Jason Robertson on the right side. Yeah. Okay. Everywhere else, you just got to stick your gun out through brush and oh. shoot. Oh, I'm aware. Okay. <laughs> Down there where they're standing, it's a four foot hole. Okay. No <laughs> brush, no nothing. Okay. Yet uh, I'm the one that flared the ducks. Look, Phil, I saw you. So Phil, yeah. one time uh, last year, Phil wore like a light gray shirt. I mean, light, almost white. Yeah, it was my new, yeah. And, uh, it was an old shirt because it was faded. It was old, old real tree. I'm talking about twenty year old. Yeah, it's that old. Tree. It's that old yeah. Max Ford. All yeah. the Duck gray, commander shirt. All the gray had one <laughs> out of it. No, so, I know, I know which one. Jace it is. looked down there and he said, "Well, I guess camouflage is <laughs> optional these days." And Phil said, "Do what?" I don't flare ducks <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> it's like that day he showed up on opening day wearing a red and white flannel. I'm like, uh, what? Well, what? Hey, what? We going, red and what? white, baby. We're going Paul Bunyan Day, hey, boys. Where's the accent? When, when, you, when you get in your 70s, <laughs> hey. you do whatever the heck you want to do. Yeah. Hey, and when you own a duck hole, that's, that's it. Do whatever also you want true. To do. That's when right. your name's He's on the, the deed, when you're Mr. Hey, Dutton, you do what you Mr. want. Duck right, when you, and when you're the duck commander, you really do whatever you want yeah. to do. Amen to that. All right, let's take another break. We'll take another one. <laughs> well, you know, it's duck season. and it's it's. I mean, you're tired this time, but so you go home, you go to sleep, you sleep hard. It's a lot nicer to sleep hard when you're surrounded by comfortable sheets, just like the ones Bowling Branch sent us because, you know, I mean, my wife washes them about every other day because of the dog. And they just get more comfortable every time you wash them. Get softer, boys. I mean, we spend one-third of our lives in bed anyway. So pure organic cotton sheets from Bowling Branch make a truly special gift if you're looking to give something this holiday season. They make the highest quality sheets by doing things the right way, not the easy way. And who wouldn't want a better night's sleep as a Christmas gift? Bowling Branch never disappoints them with the highest quality sheets, blankets, pillows, and throws. You can't go wrong. Their holiday packaging makes your gift look and feel special also. So I'm just telling you right holiday now. Holiday packaging? They do it for you. Uh, you ain't got to do nothing. These people are my heroes. Guaranteed. So, look, I'll tell you this. Before we got them, I could never have any kind of comforter because I would always sweat to death at night. Now, we, my wife's happy. We have a comforter on our bed. So, look at you. you. Know, look at us. Hey. Do you still have 147 pillows? She does. Yeah, throw do them all that. in the floor. I don't get that. Everywhere. Huh? I don't get all those pillows. I don't get them on the bed or the couch. You just uh, throw them in the floor. And but get them I out need of the way. good sheets. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But look, Signature Hem Seats are their all time bestseller. They're beloved for so many reasons, like how they get softer with every single wash. Buttery, soft, lightweight, and made with 100% organic cotton weave that feels incredible in all seasons. Comes in a wide range of colors and all sizes from twin. Up to me, the California King, <laughs> completely toxin-free and fair trade certified. Treat yourself and your loved ones to the new standard embedding for Bowl and Branch. Their gifts come wrapped and ready in their special holiday packaging. Order by December the 19th for guaranteed delivery by Christmas. Best deals of the year going on now from December 6th to December 8th with promo code DUCK at BowlingBranch.com. That's B-O-L-L and Branch.com. Promo code DUCK. Some exclusions may apply. Well, you know, another form of entertainment that we've had in the duck blind 
<clears throat> Y'all cook in the duck blind? Uh, used to. Not yet. Used not to. We don't to. stay there long enough during the first yeah. split. Okay. Now, when the weather gets cold and we get fronts and stuff like that. Yeah, when know. it gets miserable. That was because yeah. I, whenever I would hunt with Gimber, I was the head chef over in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keep you busy. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm glad y'all got something accomplished. The Owens, the <laughs> we Owens weren't are killing good anything. <laughs> the Owens are good. Yeah, we're the chefs okay. at the yeah. Oh, yeah. So whenever cooking time comes, I'll, I'll gladly come down there and heat up sausage for y'all. All right. Hey, we might take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with Martin. Anyway, continue your story, sir. Anyways, uh, so we, like I said, we've been thoroughly entertained this year and uh, by the old men and the, the dog. So, old Blue Bill's trusty Labrador for the past how many years, Martin? Oh, Probably five. six, yeah. Six, five, seven six, years, yeah. a long time. He he's got whiskers in it. He's got white whiskers now, and and uh, he slowed down a little bit. And he brought a rotten beaver back the last day of duck season last year. And Phil said, "You know what? I think it's time for to old retire, Blue to retire." <laughs> He, he, he brought a him, rotten beaver Yeah, back? he sent him out to go pick a pick up a duck, and he'd come back an hour later with a rotten beaver. I'm going to ask a question that's on everybody's mind. What yeah. does a rotten beaver smell like? It, sm- it, it smells worse than you, you would imagine. You? No, I've, I figure because they got all that fat on it. Oh, look, oh, and when it, that stuff starts breaking down. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, he's ooh, oh, it was rough. Ooh, yeah, he's rough. But, it, but anyways, Wait. we've been hearing all about Phil's new dog named Drew. Old Drew. Old Drew. Old Drew. He's a go getter. He old Drew. He's a speed merchant. <laughs> yeah. Y'all to see him fetch that dummy. Like, okay. Yeah. But I'm I actually enjoy retrieving ducks myself because a lot less I look at it as work, a yeah. form of exercise. You know, and one good thing about Blue, uh, he was the best retriever I've ever seen. But he had bad manners and he whined. He didn't have no manners. No man. He he'll pee yeah. on your stuff. Yeah. He owns you. And, and, he just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and hey, yeah. every time you blow a duck call, he's woofing it. Yeah. He's howling at the moon. Hey, yep. Yeah. It was very. Well, he was the best retriever. Very so, hey, annoying. So, see a cripple? He's gone. He's, well, Phil would get defensive about that dog because me and Jay scratched about him all the time because he flared ducks when he started hollering. But uh, anyway, so we got a new dog. His name was Drew. Phil got him from one of his kin folks, made some deal with him. So we show up, open the morning, old Drew, he's running around, you know. So we shoot the first duck, and Phil goes, Drew. And old Drew just sat there. He said, back. He just sat there. Drew, he just sat there. Well, Phil finally just kind of shoved him on out in the water. The dog took a hard right, come back with a shotgun hole in his mouth. Phil said, nope, try it again. Drew sent him back. He went back out, come back with a shotgun hole. Another shotgun hole. He sent him again. He come back with a decoy. He brought back a decoy? A yeah. decoy. Yeah. Duck. And he was swimming past the ducks. Yeah. That's because them Higdon decoys look real. They right? look real. They do. <laughs> them flocked head Fine decoy. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. He, he brought Thank back a, a flocked head decoy all the way to the blind. And and I said, no, no, no. Guy was saying, no, no. Hard mouth, hard mouth. <laughs> I said, hard mouth, hard head. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. swimming past yeah. the ducks to go get the decoy. Empty head. Well, Godwin's point was, yeah. if a dog will retrieve a decoy, he's got a hard mouth. Oh, yeah. Why? The uh, decoy is hard. You, hey, if you, yeah. hey, if you look at the decoy and you see holes in it, oh, well, yeah, that, that he's doesn't. hard mouth. Yeah, anyway. Okay. <laughs> anyway, then yesterday you had a dog tryout, didn't well, you? Well, yeah, well, I'll get to that here in a minute. <laughs> but, uh, but old New Drew, dog. So, turns yeah, out, running through them. Phil said, uh, well, I don't think old Drew's got it. Got what it takes. And Jay said, "You think?" <laughs> he said, "I'm." Jay said, "I'm gonna write a new book, and the title of it's gonna be What's Wrong with Drew.' Nobody got a laugh out of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't understand. Wait, I'm just, I'm I've just never thinking, seen they Drew. Don't, they I'm don't just thinking that. it's gonna be blank pages. Yeah, well, that seems to be what yeah. would fit for they, they don't get it because they didn't watch the show. Okay. So, so because it was a show. It was. Uh, I'd say we killed 20 <laughs> ducks before Drew finally got a duck and brought it back. I think he done picked up all the holes by that time. And He's Phil, a good mate. And Phil said, "Well, we we got a dog at a clean Heck of a mate. I'm yeah. telling you. He's, he's a, a fabulous mate. Oh, yeah. If you need your blind cleaned out, <laughs> okay. he, he's, he's the dog you need. So, <laughs> oh, anyway, old good. Drew, he's he got back to 
his owner or he's on his way back to his original owner. Okay, he said, call up old Jimmy Don, tell him to bring it. Bring us a dog. Bring a oh, dog. Jimmy try Don. him out. He said, but I want to see him work before I buy him. I'm like, okay. So Jimmy shows up with the lab yesterday, it, and it looked like, what that dog look like? Si? Well, hey, here's how the morning started off. We come and we got meat in the lair. Yeah. Jace walks in, and the first thing Jace says is he looks at the dog, and he said, <clears throat> that dog looks like I feel. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> he said, because I feel horrible. My, my nose is stopped up. Yeah. I got a headache. Yeah. You know, and look, this dog, okay. Does it have the mange? It's, hey, he's no. skinny as a rail. Skinny. So he looked like you. Yeah. yeah. But that's what oh, he Bernie looks said. Worse than he, I do. He said, yeah. if Sai Imagine was, that. He looks worse than I do. Bernie okay. said, if Sai was a lab, that's what he would look yeah. like. This right <laughs> <laughs> old skinny but anyway, dog. Anyway, he, he was creeping that's around. That's how the day know, started he, off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we dog. shoot a couple of ducks down. Yeah. And this dog <laughs> looked like he's testing the water temperature. I mean, I'm just, he. Yeah. He's, he's creeping. He's, he, <laughs> <laughs> he just. <laughs> yeah, so, so we're we're watching Jim do this, and and the handler has to actually go out right to the dog and say, "Here, here, go back," you know, and he's he's got it right under his nose. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he's mm. he, you know, that water's so, cold. Yeah. Yeah, so now put, put oh. Dublin in. So now we're over two. At this point, <laughs> we're over two on new dogs. But Phil keeps going back to Old Blue. He said, "I tell you what, Old Blue, you never had to tell him what to do." You know, he. he so, hey, it. Blue is looking better all all the time. Okay, <laughs> as far as hey, going and retrieving. You ducks. would think the duck commander <laughs> would have could could get a decent uh, lab to hunt with. Well, Jace <laughs> keeps saying. He said, "Hey, I've got that yellow." Yeah, no, he ain't no good. Either. He ain't no good either. <laughs> I done seen uh, him. Well, Jace's dogs. I, I kept, no. I kept wondering why. Oh, big okay, Jace says I'm bring oh, mine. Big. At least he will go out there. Yeah, yeah. Hey. he'll swim out there and look for yeah. him. Martin, you got like three dogs that work, right? Yeah. Two. I got two. Yeah. Well, I ain't giving them no, a no man. <laughs> look, no man, man that, it, oh, no. It, hey. that loves his dog would ever send him down there where we are. Oh, no. here, here, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> them <Same>. dogs is <laughs> they tough, man. You got to find a, oh. you got to find one that's. Oh. But you got to know it when they're a puppy. It's hard. Dogs are weird. Man. I'm not anti-dog. I love dogs. I'm anti-dog handler. <laughs> well, well, well. Look, number one. There's a lot of truth. Okay, about. there's a. Uh, None of the Robertsons, in my humble opinion, are dog handlers. That's an understatement okay. right there, baby. Period. Okay, and they <laughs> never will the be. <laughs> you know, they never will be. Okay? Look, here's, here's what I'll say, and then we'll take a break. If you're going to be a dog, anybody listening to this that breeds dogs said, boy, I got you one, Phil, and you, you, you start sending emails to us about this. Here's what I'm telling you that dog needs to be. Self-sufficient. That's right. He needs to think for himself. He needs to do his own thing because Phil is going to peep on the whistle about three times saying over, but he ain't going to go in a straight line with an over. No. He ain't going to go in a straight line with a back or nothing no. like that. No. So the dog needs to be able to think for himself. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he's going to be hunting in a duck blind. Where, that he hey, can't see. That he can't see nothing. That's right. Okay. He's chasing splashes. Is all he better doing. have yeah. a real good yeah. nose. He, better, yeah. he be, <laughs> better be able to hear good, okay, because he's going to have to hear him splash. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> and that's have the, a nose on him where I can go in out there and he can win them. I'll give you this, so I'll tell you this. The Our new cameraman, Clint, his dog's solid. I hunted with it this morning. Well, I think so. That's his who dog we, is, I think we tell him to bring the next. His dog okay. is solid. No, so no, well, let's take a break. We'll be back right after. <laughs> Stone said, hey, forget the dog. Feed a hungry baby, there we hot go. meals for a child, rescue children in crisis, care for an orphan, help a family survive disaster, provide emergency medical care, plant a grove of trees. We can give a uh, we can give like a goat. It. Oh, I'll buy a goat. Does a goat give milk? It looks like it. Oh, yeah. hey, you you go, can boy. help a family yeah, raise cattle. See, these people have thought of everything. They're not just out there just handing out cash. <clears throat> They're providing people with cows, goats. Uh, care, Christmas gifts. I mean, it's it's the best way to do it. And yep. Samaritan's Purse has figured it out. Like, this is say, really cool that, that you can get on here. That has to be one bunch. 
Samaritan's, Samaritan's Purse. Purse. Yeah. But look, Sai, you can either oh. you, look. They got help a family in need, raise a cattle. You can give three hundred fifty dollars. Or look, you just want you don't have three hundred fifty dollars to give out this Christmas. Feed a hungry baby. That's nine dollars. Just don't go to McDonald's one day, and you can do that, and oh. they'll help you do it. You can even give a hot meal to a child for just seven bucks. Yeah, so. that's that's an incredible way to give, and. All, all the facets. If you got a lot of money to give this Christmas, they'll help you. If you got just a little and you just want to help out somewhere, they're a great place to do it. That's well, I truth. just know the people that are involved with them are always first class. Absolutely. Every, everything they do. Okay. They've always shown up around here for sure. And yep. I, when I say here, I'm talking about the state of Louisiana, yep. not just Monroe, Well, Louisiana. West Monroe. But they did in West Monroe. Yeah, but, I mean, the I know they've been in New Orleans with a hurricane. They've been... They've been in Lake Charles with a hurricane last year. I mean, you name it, they've done it. You can you can get involved. Go to their website. You'll figure out how to do it. It is super simple. Uh, they got a whole catalog of stuff you can give to. I mean, from drilling a water well in a community to literally just giving a kid a Jesus loves you lamb. Yeah. They have been serving for over 50 years as a Christian international relief organization that helps hurting people around the world in their time of crisis, and they do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. They show the love of Christ while sharing the gospel and being the hands and feet of Jesus. It is our friends over at Samaritan's Purse. Without the support of men and women like you, Samaritan's Purse could not do the work that the Lord has called them to do. Right now, you can make a difference. Go to samaritanspurse.org slash duck. To make a donation today and help change the lives of those in need. Again, that's SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to make a donation today or click the link in the show notes. I was about to talk about watching Walter sprint over the water. Who? Walter. Oh, that was funny that day. Oh, that was yeah. the most incredible oh, that thing. That sounded like a Justin Wilson story to me. <laughs> no, he... no. We had the best dog <laughs> you've ever seen, and his name Somebody was Walter. Hey. Walter. Hey, he was never good. I you remember Walter that worked swim, there? Boys. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about a dog. No. No, Walter. Oh, no, Walter. He yeah. was faster than a dog. I took Walter hunting. Me and John D and Walter and another guy went hunting one more. It was cold, so I left my dog to house. I'm talking about, like, cold, cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cold. And, like, 20 degrees, water was freezing as it was splashing cold. Mm. So I don't take my dog in that. And that, I'll do the work. Yeah. But first thing of the morning, about eight millers got right over the plugs. I said, kill them. We killed them. I think we about killed all of them, except for one. He kind of had that shimmy to him, you know. <laughs> and Walter's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. I said, "I get him on the four wheeler. I ain't uh uh-uh. uh. You ain't running. I ain't. Right. I can't get yeah. out. Yeah, I, I ain't can't chase. Not in this. Yeah. Walter said, "I got him." Hmm. <laughs> that boy Walter, ran. Walter, a pretty good high school football player at the time. Well, no, he was like a year removed. Yeah, but that boy ran. Sprinted. And neoprene chest waders. If you don't know what neoprene chest waders they're, are, go to your local sporting yeah, goods store, tight, put them on, hot. and then imagine running a yeah. sprint. Yeah, I can't hot, even walk in they're them. They're hot. <laughs> and he was running 20 at twenty degrees and about a 20-mile-an-hour headwind mm. after that Mallard Drake. And he got him. In a foot somewhere. and a half of water. Yeah, in about not quite knee-deep water. Uh, yeah. Was it hard bottom or muddy? No, it was a field. It was, it was soft. It was yeah. soupy. Mm. It wasn't good. Yeah. I just sat there and watched. I mean, I was sitting there like, man, I'm impressed. He probably ate a bunch of Victor dog food this that morning to, to really show. That boy. That boy. There, there's only one explanation. Uh, but I take care of I mean, like in that situation, I take care of my dogs. I don't. If it's that cold, I ain't taking dog hunting. They ain't done nothing to deserve it. Like, no. stay at home, stay warm. I'll do it today. You get to come when it warms up a little bit. And I know they make vests and everything else for the dogs, but... My dog ain't going like to break eyes. I'm not going no. through that. We're not. Uh-uh. No, my dog's my buddy now because I need her to trust me yeah. because she saves me a lot of steps during duck season. <laughs> a bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. You know, I enjoy but, watching a good a good dog. You know. Uh, oh, nothing. A dog can make a hunt or ruin a hunt with right. equal enthusiasm. That's right. <laughs> and it's all. it all goes back to the handler. And my favorite part is every time one of them ruins it, the handler says, he ain't usually like this. Yeah. Oh, they got every excuse I in the book. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong with him today. Yeah, it's, never, it's never my fault. No. Yeah. Well, but I've like, <laughs> let me tell you, I've, learned, I've been around a lot of dogs. I've had them my whole hunting career. They're creatures of habit. I've yeah. had some that are better than others, no doubt. And there's some of them I'm like, hey, guys, if it's all in decoys, she'll go get it. If it goes past decoys, we're on our own. We're going to have to go get that one ourselves. Like, it ain't. Yeah. It, it is what it is. 
Hey. But as long as you meet those expectations, set them up front, you're fine. Don't do, don't be the guy that's like, oh, we'll take my dog, and you know good and well he ain't gonna go on a 150 yard blind or tree. <laughs> like, and then you have to walk out there with the dog. Now we got two things out of the blind that we could have gotten quicker. So it's, yeah. you know, it's one of them kind of deal. Oh, dogs, I love them though. Yeah, you gotta there's, have you gotta have patience, and you gotta. Well, yeah. I was just going to say, there's a few things required to be able to handle a dog, and number one, the Robertsons have got have not got the first one that you have to have when patience. you're working patience. dogs. Patience, that's right. Patience, and that's patience, and that ain't there. Uh, and consistency. <laughs> and consistency, and that ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> Them two things are missing. They're out. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, man. That's funny. I had one. I used to have one. He'd retrieve on the halves with you. Josie Wells always said a man's got to know his limitations. Mm. The yeah, Robertsons had, don't know their limitations. Yeah, I was. had one back in the day. He, he was retrieving <laughs> on the halves with you. It was. Uh, I don't that, know. He'd bring you one back. And he'd eat the other one before he got back with the next one. So was, <laughs> he, that's why I said he was retrieving on the halves with you. He was like, "Hey, you know, that was my that's last." Reasonable to me. <laughs> I'm going to get them. You get one. I get you one, and I get I one. Totally reasonable. That's fair. That's right. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, a worker deserves his wages. That's, that's right. biblical. Hey, it that's is biblical, even boy. I'll Backed say up. this: that uh, was my last male dog to ever own. I said never again. <laughs> I ain't going through that again. I've had females ever since. I like it. Hey, one of them's mine, one of them's yours. Yeah, he was. Why is it you always only have female dogs? I like females. I like their temperament. Come They're on. not wired for 220. Hey, come They're on. kind of, they chill. Be reasonable. What? <laughs> what? Be what? <laughs> he just told me to be reasonable. Uh, going back to respecting the elders, I believe in respecting my yeah. elders, unless that elder is an idiot. Oh, well, that's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. No. But what's the definition of an elder? Like five years, ten years? Yeah. How 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 that's old like, do you have to be before you get to be respected? Yeah, that's like Where's neighbor. That? What about neighbor? Yeah. No, I'm with you. I was just curious. I, well, that I is mean, a good question. I would say, sir. That's a good question. I wouldn't say yes, sir, to you. Well, I would hope not. But I would say it to Stone sometimes. Uh, that's just well, I'm scared. I'm dang near fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, My, no, it's no. not age. It's because I'm afraid of you. Yeah. No. There's no need to be afraid. But I don't know I, what a right. elder. Yeah, what is it? Hey, he elder? can't kill you, but watch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in seven different ways. That's right, in three uh, seconds. I mean, in four of, different holes. Yeah. In three seconds or less. One of my best friends <laughs> on this planet is about 10 years older than me. Yeah. So do I say yes, sir, to him? Or are we peer? You know, it's just kind of, I always, I've always wondered that. It depends on your relationship. Yeah. That's Generally, true. I say yes, sir, okay. if I'm trying to be a smart aleck to him. Yes, sir. I just say or like when I make the joke here's about the he's way, having his own grandchildren. You know, here's like the way I was uh, raised by my parents. <laughs> if they're senior to you, it's always yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. Yeah. That, do you know. Oh, I told that line. I, yeah. I'm going to yeah. say yes, sir, unless somebody yeah. says don't. If, and once yeah. I say it, if they yeah. say don't yeah. call me sir, yeah. then I'll try to respect that wish too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to start yeah. with the yes sir, yeah. no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. But that, kind of deal. that'd be a guideline. Yeah. You know, that, that's what I would say. It's a guideline. If there's your senior, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, because yeah. if you start getting in, well, how, oh, how much senior, and you know, because then you're you're just getting a. Yeah. What are the rules? There are no rules. Just uh, yeah. respect well, your elders. Well, you respect who who deserves being respected, and that's pretty obvious when you meet somebody. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can tell uh, pretty quick. He says, no, "Hey, I'm no is. Look, just listen. They'll tell you who they are. Or right. um, a person in a uh, in a in a position of authority, like in the military, if you're at uh, at basic training or boot camp, you respect your <laughs> drill sergeant or else." <laughs> You or pay else, the price. Or, or you going you gonna meet the standards. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care yeah. how old they are, what yeah. what yeah. color they are, what yeah. what gender they are. Or how big the they are, meanest, how small they are. The meanest drill sergeants I had were I would say the, the two meanest ones I had were women. <laughs> and I was scared to death well, of I, them. I've always said, okay, I will fight ten men than one woman. Okay. 
and come out. I'll come out way better. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, because hey, the woman <laughs> will kill you. Okay. That's it. <laughs> okay. She may not be to, but she will kill you. Okay. Uh, the woman okay. will uh, kill uh, you. Uh, oh. No, no, the meanest one I had. Okay, he was about oh, he may have topped five four, maybe. Five, That's not four. big oaf. No, no, this was the Filipino drill sergeant. Okay. What was his name? I don't even remember. <laughs> But he was, he was just yes, sir, Joe Sergeant. I bet okay. you didn't call him Tiny. Uh, uh, yeah. I was hoping there was another big <laughs> old. Big, no, no, big old, though. It, hey, 450 pounds. Okay, and look, oh. we're on Fort Benning, Georgia. <laughs> you do not walk anywhere on Fort Benning, Georgia. Yeah. You run. You run. Oh. Okay, and look, he ran everywhere we did. Okay, and we ran everywhere we went. Yep. So, hey, you had to. Yeah, I take my hat off to you, sir. I was fixing to say, he passed the standard. Oh, this, what? no. I, I had one the same way. Is that he wasn't, I wouldn't say 450. He's probably close to 300, but same deal. He was in better shape than any of us. Oh, no, no. Big O was 6'6", six, six, okay, out, 450 if he had weighed an ounce. I could have took a bath in his Smokey the Bear hat. <laughs> Martin would be considered a little person. There you okay? go. <laughs> Who knows if that's okay? I'm just saying, trying to tell you, hey, big old was a uh, big, big, big He's man. A very Bell large. Martin human. looked little. That's yeah. what you tried to say. Well, look, I'm going to go try to boost my ego. Let's take a, <laughs> let's take our last commercial break. We'll be back right after this. Uh, when did we decide to stop upholding free speech as a basic right? What's it's the First Amendment, Martin. Guarantee. What's playing out right now at big tech companies and social media sites sets a dangerous precedent. Look, it doesn't matter what your politics are or who you voted for. Everyone should have the right to express themselves freely. And go fishing. <coughs> hey, yeah. And duck hunting. Sadly, <laughs> the big tech monopoly has instead opted for silencing tactics and censorship. To fight back against big tech's control of the internet, we use ExpressVPN. Ever wondered how free to access tech giants make all their money well they track your searches their your video history and everything you click on they build a profile on you then they sell off said profile so when you use express vpn app on your computer or phone you anonymize much of your online presence by hiding your ip address that makes your activity more difficult to trace and sell to advertisers what's more express vpn encrypts 100 percent of your network data to protect you from eavesdroppers and cyber criminals I hate a criminal. Mm. What I like most is how easy it is to use. It takes just one click to protect all your devices. That's why ExpressVPN is rated number one by Business Insider. So let's stop allowing big tech to revoke our rights to free speech. Why not revoke their right to your data instead? Secure your internet with a VPN we trust for online protection. Visit expressvpn.com slash Uncle Cy. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Uncle Cy. To get three extra months free with our exclusive link, go to expressvpn.com slash Uncle Cy right now to learn more. Johnny D, uh, hey, what is in my that man, inbox? My man Dylan, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Bowling Green, Ba-boom. Kentucky. Look at there. Oh, hey. 11 points. Oh, oh 11 spike. points. <laughs> Louisiana <laughs> 11 points, huh? That's, it. Well, that's hey, a I Bowling Green. Dylan, congratulations. Uh, Looking absolutely. good. Absolutely. I, I just know. like doing that every hey, week. That's where my woman's from. Where? Kentucky. Really? Yeah. So I learn something new about you every day. It, and then I have a couple, but I think this one might take the whole time. All right, boys. Well, let's start you know there. It. Marv the Miserable. Uh-oh. Marv the that's miserable. who signed this email. Help me out on this, John David. I hear you guys talk about Jace, and it sometimes comes off like he's not a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> then I hear Jace. Talk about Cy, and it comes off like Cy isn't a nice guy. <laughs> what this I is? Know that no one is perfect. <laughs> That's right. Those two are my favorite. I would hate to know that these guys are really uncool off oh, the screen. Well, I, I, Cy, let me let me start, and <laughs> then you finish. I'll let, I'll let him do. I'll start, and you finish. Yeah, because I just soon stay out of this. Yeah, you stay, you stay out of it. <laughs> So, He's going to keep the friendship together, yeah, boys. No, Matt, <laughs> I, I've been friends with Jace now for that gum 20 years. Oh, yeah. We have been we used to fish tournaments together and all that stuff. Now, <clears throat> the reason Jace and Cy don't really get along 
It's because they're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> with, with 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 a few differences, uh, oh. si, Jay used to live with Sai and Christine mm-hmm. when he was a child. He was named his name is Sai, Jason Silas Robertson. And when you're together every day for how many years? How, how what year did you start working for Duck Commander Sai? Oh, what ninety three? Ninety three. So nineteen ninety three. So twenty nine years. Yeah. Is that right? Mm-hmm. 29 years of working together and hunting together every single day, there will be a little friction. Now, I will say this. Jace loves his Uncle Si. I've heard him say it. And I know Si loves his nephew, Jace. That being said, (laughs) there is some friction at times, in the duck blind especially, where they like to blame each other. For things that happen, and uh, it's quite entertaining. But no, there's Jace is, is, is he is a a great godly man that does a lot of good things. I could I call him a friend. He's been my friend for a long time, and uh, it, it's hard. Uh, we pick at each other. That's what we're doing. We're just yeah. picking and playing and prodding it. Uh, Jace is as good a good a fellow as you can run up on. And Uncle Si is the same, except a lot more fun to be around. <laughs> no, no. He's like, he's like well, cool, Jay. He's like cool. <laughs> yeah, you got to understand something. I didn't even really realize it that much, but we kept Jace a lot when he was there. Yeah, baby. Jace is one of the greatest storytellers of all time. Oh, no, yeah. Too. No, he, he's, he's in his own class there. Yeah, okay. especially when he's alone. No, no, oh, yeah. no, no. Hey, well, let's oh. be like me. Okay. There ain't ever a witness to his story. <laughs> then there's never look, a witness. That's he's right. always by himself. Yeah. Oh, there's some wild oh, no. tales. Oh, he comes, he comes up with some of them, okay? Especially when he goes and gets a crippled duck. Yeah, we okay? all know where he got that from. Yeah, but, but anyway, <laughs> and like uh, Stone said, we're so much alike with one difference, okay? <laughs> Everything I do, my motto is, okay, if I can't have fun, I ain't, I ain't coming. Yeah. Thank you. James is just the opposite, okay? <laughs> he's, too, he's too serious, okay, in my humble yeah. opinion. Yeah. But got, uh, Jay got him down to a path. He's a great godly man, okay? Yeah. He does a lot of good work for the Lord, okay? He, he's a great person, okay? <clears throat> and look. The, the 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 rub we've got between us, we're very very passionate about what we do. Uh, That's yeah. exactly what yeah. I was going to okay, say. Okay, I'm serious. <laughs> That's what the rub is. Okay, because oh, yeah. hey, I'm very passionate that I like to have fun when I'm duck hunting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you happen to be there and you can't enjoy it, don't get in my face because I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. That's oh, exactly yeah. what I was gonna say. Was the the problems <clears throat> generally arrive because both of you are so passionate about uh, what oh, is no. going on at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. both of you, no offense, <laughs> point fingers at everybody but yourself. No oh, boy, <laughs> both of you. No, no. Now no. Martin's well, answering. See, I know that if uh, I do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you there's just look, a bunch of them pointing back at me. But you just okay. look past them. Yeah. <laughs> I can go back to the elm hole. Oh, oh boy, I can go. Now back, we're mad. Oh, oh, no. There's well, that go goes there. about hey, about the you can't tell a male nothing. Yeah, that's it. If you're gonna talk, <laughs> talk. You're gonna oh. shoot, shoot. <laughs> that's right. I mean, hey, that's it. Two cold was right. The, but I right. noticed the first time I ever went to the a family <laughs> gathering, there was hollering. I'm talking about hollering back and forth. This was. <laughs> 18, 19 oh, years yeah, ago, yeah. over something that happened in the duck blind, trying to figure out whose fault it was. Oh, we have a hard time. It was time. you, okay, Phil, with... Jace, Tommy, all y'all were in yeah. there, mm-hmm. just hollering at the top of your lungs, back and forth at each other. Well, it's, here's one of the things about religious, tell me, okay, tell me, I'm going to forgive you, but I'm not going to forget it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That that's yeah. the deal about okay. I got one. I may be pointing at you, but I got three pointing back at me. No, that's right. Step okay. one. Step one in a Robertson <laughs> scuffle. Step one. I'm get, telling y'all. Don't this. get in I'm, between us. No, 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 not no, even no, that. Step no. one. Assess blame. Assess the blame. Assess the blame. <laughs> and it is everybody but you. That's it. That's that's that's, that's right. the one rule you got to remember. Assess oh, blame, is, and it can't be yourself. That look. is, and if there's ever Mar- if there's <laughs> if there's a Martin Godwin or Stone around, yeah. it was always their fault. Yeah, 
<laughs> we keep the family tight. Especially if something breaks, it's what? always a heavy person. What does Phil? Phil says blood is thicker than mud. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been married to a Robertson for 17 years. You know how, how many times I've heard her say I was wrong? you still waiting, ain't you? <laughs> I'm still waiting. I can answer that for you. <laughs> Step one, assess the blame. Man, God. Oh, see, I told you we were only going to get yeah. through one with that one. But That's a good one, though. Good but it is. We're from, all friends, yeah. and – we open up our relationship as friends to the public, yeah. which well, is not what a lot of friends do. And behind closed doors, you rub it the wrong way with your buddy sometime. Well, and I'll Cy say, and Jace just do it in public. Well, that. <laughs> but I'll say this, too, about our friendship. Our friendship is not based off of we all tell each other yes. We challenge oh, each yeah. other to be better in every step of everything that we do. Yep. And if that means that it ends in an argument, it, then it ends in an argument. But you know what else it generally ends at? the dinner table everybody with their head bowed that part of the show was for real and we all love each other forgive each other and the next day we go hunting or do whatever we do we sit there and laugh about the argument start over. like it you know it is what no, it no, is because we it's, still bring this up yeah okay i mean and every time we do it brings i i get to crying because it's just it's so funny yet it was <laughs> so serious at the time oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I mean, that's just what it is. But look, a and, great question. Yeah, and there. they're both. Um, uh, you said uncool off screen. They're both super cool. Oh yeah. On off. It's it's awesome. Awesome. Look, Absolutely. Here's the thing Absolutely. about it. hey, <laughs> it's who we are. Yeah. Okay. And you're and we wild. Don't, we don't put no ass where we got a camera on us or off of us. No. No. Uh, no that was okay. What you see is what you get. Okay. Yeah. And we hope you like it. But hope, if, if you're if having you a, if you're having a dinner yeah. party, invite Cy. Si. <laughs> no, that's right. Hey, look, Jace, when I was in oh, junior no, high. Me, I'm sorry. Let, oh, me, let me say this. So, Martin's right. If you're having a party, you invite Cy. If you want to kill a bunch of ducks, you invite <laughs> Jace. Yeah, exactly. hey, there you go. That's it. That's yeah. what I was going to get to. It, yeah. just, it depends on what you're looking for in your oh, gathering. We got it. you. I'm inviting Cy. But no, Jace, whenever I was in junior high, I think for like two years, Every Wednesday night, he had the junior high boys only. Oh, yeah. Me and Stone helped cook for all oh, that. Oh, yeah. And it was yeah. just – and that might have been – that was probably after I was out of junior high, and he mm -hmm. just kept doing it. Yeah. So, yeah, he – He's a super cool oh, dude. He's solid. fantastic. I talked to him for just, 30 minutes yesterday about nothing just because we was catching up because I ain't talked to him much yeah. lately. So, yeah. no, it's – and But, yeah, we love giving everybody – That boy loves time. to argue. Oh, does <laughs> he? He loves to argue. All Robertson's like to <laughs> argue. That's But, no, he – all Robertson's like it. He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's passionate, as they would say. Uh, so. uh, well, here's our verse of the day. Of the First day. Timothy 5. We'll go one and two. Do not rebuke an old man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with absolute purity. Respect your elders, folks, and Love people you younger than you. Yeah. That's a good one. Bulls go. all down to that. Yeah. All right. We we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>